Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Nathan's 3D Factory. In this episode, what I'm going to do is that I am going to show you how to do the repeat zone node. So to do that, I am in my default scene that I've set up previously in another video. And I'm going to go into geometry nodes. And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to do a very simple example where I'm going to take a pattern that I'm going to have for this going and doing an array around a central point, okay? So first, I'm gonna create this new setup. Input, output, and I'm gonna add repeat zone. Okay. Now, First thing I want to show you is that I want to be able to repeat several instances of this same object in a rotation fashion, okay? So first, I'm going to do transform geometry. So we have one iteration here. If we we're just to do a rotation where we do a 45 degree on the z-axis that's all it does right now let's say that we want to have uh, more iterations right so we're gonna say four okay well that just returns it to that right but you can't really see it doing anything beneficial yet so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do join geometry Okay, now I'm going to join the original with that one right there. And now all of a sudden you can see that there's this going on. Now this looks like we have two overlapping, a 45 degree and a 90 degree, right? Well, two iterations is just gonna give you that, right? So, not much exciting going on, right? But, let's say instead of a 45, we wanted to do a 15 degree iteration. Okay, so now we have those two joined objects. And now look at this. Now, we have five of these objects joined together. Pretty cool, huh? Gives you this really nice, funky, pointed star. Now let's say we want to take this so that instead we make this into like a polar array so it goes around this, right? Well, we could do that in a couple of ways. We could actually rotate it here inside of this and we could say, well, I want this to be 40 away from here, but it ends up taking it where, do this other thing right here, right? Goes out like this. I don't really want to do that. What I want to do is I want to have this so that it goes out from this central point and in order to get this to where I have it so it goes out and it goes around then I need to have it so it's outside of here and instead of a rotation I want to have this so that instead I take this out to say 50 right here right okay and now we have all these objects rotated right here 15 degree fashion maybe I don't want exactly to have that right maybe instead I do a 60 degree rotation with those five iterations what happens is that it rotates from here with the original of zero iterations, one, two, three, four, five. And then it's right back to the beginning, right? So this is where we can take these and we can put them into this rotated fashion on the repeat. Okay, so we do 30 right here. Well, I'm gonna do 11 on this. I'll get something similar, right? Pretty cool, isn't it? 
So this is how you can use the repeat to do something like a polar array. You can also do it for copying objects. I've tried scaling objects. I don't really recommend that a whole lot, you know? So, but this is an idea to give you what the repeat zone does. There are other ways to do the same task, but this is another tool in your arsenal for doing 3D artwork in Blender. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You got some inspiration, and I hope you try and experiment with some things and share your results with me. What kind of things do you like to do with this join, this repeat zone modifier? Let me know in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and get the notifications for each video because I post every single week. And thank you so much for watching Nathan's 3D Factory. Have a great day.